chance of getting another because you've got a new player out there. In fact, two new players, both to, yet to get off the mark. I mean, that's uh, the ideal uh, situation uh, from a fielding side's point of view. To have two new players at the crease in a one-day game. Especially after a few overs have been bowled. This is a time where we've got to be a little disciplined. Good chance to just get through five, six overs quickly. That's clap for uh, towards the third minute. That's good work. Brilliant stuff from Mohammed. Nice round of applause from the ground and the bowler himself. have no more than four. The moment that happens, there's lots of gaps inside the circle. There is four inside the circle on the offside. There's a mid on and a short mid wicket as well. Now the moment two of those go out, the singles start getting easier. So that's the reason in spite of being in the 17th over, he still wants to keep the pressure. Keep You get it left with the wicket keeper, it's four. You can never place a fielder for that. Mr. Raman uh, must have thought that he's picked up a Mohammed Kaif. Nice flick of the hips. Ah, nice good effort from uh, Khalid Mahmood. I think the ball just died down. He's dying down there. All four runs. Strained down the leg side for four and now short and wide and this unlike what we've seen from Bangladesh this morning just starting to show signs of frustration maybe and hopefully for Bangladesh it's just two bad balls good to see uh, people coming uh, to support the Indians Indian flag there yes this one uh, wide outside the off come and Mohammed Kapp would not just let them go away Mushfiqur Rahman uh, was hit for a four in previous delivery and on this occasion one more time this time was on the off Side. It's a problem with that pace as well. It might be right for this wicket. It demands that the bowler bowls a very stringent line in length. Just the moment you go off, you don't have the pace to help you. Just dive a little too early. Get the scoring down to a single though. Yes, Rafiq also has shown us this morning that he is very, very lively in the field. Whether he is 34, 35, we're still not sure about that. But uh, irrespective, very lively in the field. Indian batsman, a very, very strong curl leg side. The strategy should be just bowling swingers. Ball should come from outside off stump, finish, middle off. There's a fielder there. Yes, no. Talking about the interest in Bangladesh cricket, you can see it's a one day, first one day international between uh, India and Bangladesh. And you can see the crowd. You can see the enthusiasm. You can see the, the support they give to their players dis despite they're not playing well. Character, probably seen. Yes, no again. Bit of hesitation going on. But Kafka will be taken single. And Khalid Basu, one of the top keepers in world cricket nowadays. They have to stop this singles Bangladesh if they need to get a wicket here. That's a, this would have been close, but the throw was all over. Throw. Nicely swept uh, 
should be a couple of easy runs there. shot these days. Mohamed Kaif uh, picking up his fourth boundary in this fashion. Uh, Mohamed Kaif uh, bowling a little bit up and uh, usually you see these kind of shots. It's a sweep but he's played it in the mid-wicket region. There you go. Looking for a quick single. Oh. Aftab Ahmed uh, trying to hit the stems has his hand on his head. But maybe uh, perhaps a direct hit would have been very interesting. It's shining the stumps and the uh, man might just go all the way. Mohamed Ashikul giving that chase. Aftab Ahmad, thank you, pardon. So four runs. It was a good piece of feeling from Khalifa when he picked it up, but a wild throw. No real backing up. Four runs given away. But the idea was good. Got to the ball and had a shy at the stumps. It was also quick. None of the fielders had a chance to get behind that throw. Although it was safe, the idea was right. Khalid Memo was just a little unlucky that there was just nobody backing up from that angle. But that's four runs all the same. That single, Kev goes on to 50, completes his half century. That's the 10th for him. It's 143 for three. After this over, just uh, 14 overs uh, to be bowled. And the key is that the uh, Indian team has seven batsmen in the pavilion. That slashed, and slashed hard, well behind the boundary. That's been one of his favorite areas, Mohamed Kev. Back for a point. But on this occasion, it wasn't quite intentional. This. Uh, this is very crucial now where the, where the Bangladeshi bowlers bowl now. This was wide and it was asked to be hit. And he is very, very strong there, Cap. Outside off stump, opening his arms, opening the face of the bat over the point fielder for four runs. Well, Bangladesh need to break through at this stage. There's absolutely no doubt about that because India was strong. Be careful. His pace, he cannot afford to test the pitch to see if there's any bounds. 116 kilometers per hour. That's edged. The keeper just gets a hand to it. Would have been a brilliant catch had he taken it. Was again a slow delivery and wide delivery. Harin Masood was quick to add it, but it was a bit wide from him. You can see that wide delivery right there. These catches sometimes they're stuck and sometimes they just disappear. Again, outside edge. He's bowling well, this Harin Masood. Again, 
can see moved across but just got his fingertips to it started wide was going wider would have been called a wide but good effort Forward chance. It's the captain who has the butter fingers. 165 for three. Ten overs yes, remaining after this, so that's uh, 60 balls. In this part of the world, the ball does get old. It was picked away nicely. One bounce over the rope at mid wicket. Very good between the wickets. He's coming back to second. He's comfortably home. Eight from the over. 173 to three. He's gone for two straight away, Bob Kev, and he's going to come back. India's two best runners in at the moment, and the two completed easily. It's a great example of how to run between the wickets because he's made a tricky two look very easy. I think every time the ball is just outside that 30 yard circle, if you take the first step quickly and you're in with a chance for a second there, he started straight away as soon as he pushed the ball and he should know the force with which he has pushed the ball, the kind of timing he's got on it. So he knew it wasn't going to go to the field quickly enough. Yes, hey, yes, hey. This one will go quickly, so he will not attempt the second. In fact, he'll jog uh, to complete the first. And he'll keep the strike. It's 190 for six. Well, that could that could uh, well be because uh, BVS has uh, not been picked for the one-day games. But it's still a very good uh, indication of the importance that BVS Lakshman is. Uh, giving to domestic cricket. We've seen uh, Gautam Gambhir, uh, SS Paul also go in to represent uh, and it's just a catch. Now this is very interesting. The umpire has first said no. That ball looks pretty out at this stage. The umpire first said no. I'd like to know if there's a bit of pressure on him to go back to the third umpire. Now the third umpire can only tell you the catch is taken clean. And I don't think there's any doubt at all on whether or not that catch was clean. What they need to check is whether the ball is hit into the ground. Now, can the third umpire do that? Yes, I think so. The third umpire can also tell whether it was a bump, or, bump ball or not. It's very, very clear that they have gone in appeal for the bump, not for the catch being taken clean. That is now allowed. And uh, I think over here the question is whether it's a bump ball or whether the catch has been taken. It looks pretty apparent from this one and this will tell you that it's a good idea to have gone into the third umpire but it took a very very long time for the umpire the bowler's end to actually go and ask for the replay uh, so it seems to be very little doubt on those replays but it's got to go for the light at some point the light will have to be red, I think. It is. It is, and uh, you'd have been aware of that. The only interesting thing in it all is the umpire told to go to the third umpire. It took an enormous amount of time, but well bowled by Bangladesh and a very timely wicket as well. And that two of a batsman was batted well. I think Kev himself knew that he, had, uh, he was out. It was just a question of uh, waiting for the third umpire to confirm that. And you can see over here, Najmul Hussain, who's been uh, bowling some very good uh, slow deliveries. He's tried to bowl a, a leg cutter, so he slowed it down just a little bit. And that's what's made uh, Mamad Kev check uh, his uh, shot. He's out for 80. A very welcome pile, 80. 203 for 7. 